white men in this country. Oh shit, it's woke hipster, but he's real. What? Hi folks, once again, we're on the cusp of World War Three, maybe, sort of. <laughs> and I'm still busy trying to fix the communication satellite with no expertise whatsoever. I was just hanging upside down from the rigging like an overworked and underpaid temp gibbon. Microscopic particles of my feces are already trapped in low Earth orbit. But at least I'm not the guy throwing rocks at the fucking satellite from the moon. The woke hipsters are the phantom menace, folks. Useful idiots without a cause. A, a good sleeper cell must be convinced that they were never asleep. All right, I promised you a puppet show. I promised myself a lead up. I want to play a game. White men in this country for anyone who doesn't know who that is, what do you think he's doing there? White men in this country. White men in this country, ladies and gentlemen. Is he about to, A, play victim for white men in this country and sing their praises? B, shit all over white men in this country and blame them for everything? C, do a parody of A, or D, do a parody of B? Please press your buttons now, audience. Okay, according to these data, there is an 80% chance that he's about to shit all over white men in this country. For real. That appears to be by far the most overheard, overhyped, predictable, and unoriginal of these options. Now, that's probably something to do with university syllabi, but let's not get sidetracked. As we can see, there's a 10% chance he's doing a parody of someone shitting all over white men. It's so ubiquitous that there is a subgenre devoted to parodying it, which makes perfect sense. And there is a 9% chance he's doing a parody of someone playing victim for white men, and a 1% chance that he is actually serious about that. And that one uh, was just rounded up from one member of our, of our audience who left an additional note saying... I presume this was just after he got punched. Okay, well, next round. <laughs> we're going to play a little bit more of the clip and we're going to eliminate a couple of answers. It's a little bit like the Monty Hall problem. Intuition is not your friend. White men in this country are the most discriminated against group bar none. Well, strike a light, look at that. Now we know it's not B or D. For those of you who had those answers, commiserations. But you still have another chance to redeem yourself. Vote now. Is he A, playing the victim for white men in this country and singing their praises? Or B, doing a parody of A? Crikey. Option A just can't catch a break. It seems like there's now a 99% chance of this being a parody and only a 1% chance it's for real. And what this tells us is that for every one person out there who genuinely proclaims that white men in this country are the most discriminating group bar none, there are at least, at least, 99 people ready and willing to ridicule that person by parody. And another 800 people ready and willing to shit all over white men without parody. Hey, hey, this is this is just what our audience thinks. I don't make the rules. For those of you who didn't know or guess from the annoying voice, the gentleman pictured is our good buddy, a dose of Buckley. I have a loose, no turd twice rule, Mr. Buckley. This isn't the first time I've returned to the scene of the turd. It is the first time I've done it within one season, but I simply couldn't help myself, Buckley. You are a salt lick and a lol cow all in one glorious package. And your audience seems to think you're untouchable on the grounds that you're a comedian. <laughs> How funny is that? And yes, I know this was uploaded on April the 1st, but it's still a shit joke. April Fool's Day is a day for telling jokes. It's not a day where shit jokes suddenly become good jokes. 
hey, you know, you know when I called you all names and lied about you and then I played the victim? I was just joking. Right, well, shit joke. Indistinguishable from the bullshit you normally pull. April Fool, oh no, April Fool, you're still a salty little cunt and you're not funny. Your life is a long and confusing series of bad jokes and the only punchline is death. The first YouTube video featured the founder of the online video service telling us facts about elephants. It's good to know that talking counts as facts. To, to the fact sticklers out there, it doesn't count as a fact unless there's a citation. I don't necessarily agree, but I can understand the vigilance, as long as it's consistent across all subjects. I'm not just zeroed in on one particular trigger subject. And I'm glad you and I are on the same page, Buckley. I prefer to simply state information I've learned and allow people to discover for themselves how factual it is. It's rare for me to use any combination of words that isn't one Google search away from clarification. Or duck, duck, go, whatever's your poison. For instance, I multiplied 10 by 80 just now. But I didn't show my workings because I didn't want to waste the time I'm wasting now. Also, I mentioned the Mon Monty Hall problem. It's a, it's a mathematical puzzle that has a counterintuitive but objectively correct answer. That's, that's a fact. The people who, who'd already heard of it appreciated the reference. The people who hadn't probably looked it up just now and they're about to spend the next hour of their lives trying to wrap their heads around the witchcraft that is the Monty Hall problem. So if talking without citation amounts to factual information, <laughs> that, then the people at this station do it all the fucking time. Speaking of time, I shall waste no more of mine discussing what a fact is, in theory or in practice, with someone who Orwell continues to foretell. We'll call it the truth when it suits. It suits. We'll call it the truth when it suits. Whimsy, Buckley. It's not essential. It's just nice to have icing on the cake, you know? Modern videos, however, feature very little in the way of elephants or facts. Oh, on the contrary, some of us spend most of our time discussing the elephant in the room. You wouldn't understand, Buckley, you spend most of your time discussing the fungal mold growing next to the sink. Look at that thing, it looks like angry lasagna. What do we do? In the planning phase, the video maker, known as a YouTuber, doesn't have any ideas of their own. We learned a lot of things in the previous current year. And one of them was it's socially suicidal to describe your general audience as deplorable. Here it is, folks. A YouTuber deploring YouTubers. My last video was satirizing a subcategory of YouTubers, namely YouTubers who think they're better than YouTubers. Which is a legit target for satire. <laughs> it's like boy bands who think they're better than boy bands. <laughs> We're not a boy band, man. We're a vocal harmony group. Get over it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But Buckley here is on YouTube to take the piss out of people who do call themselves YouTubers. In other words, his target is YouTubers who don't think they're better than YouTubers. Just, you know, humble people who don't take themselves too seriously. Fuck those guys, right? Because <laughs> that's my job. I'm the king of that castle, ain't I? <laughs> It's my calling as the humblest, most not take myself serious badass ever on the planet. Grr. Incidentally, this uh, this bizarre out of body, out of identity experience that people get a lot. It's it's an artifact of what is often described as postmodernism. So they review their Twitter feed and YouTube comments for ideas from their audience. What, in, what inspired you to make this video, Buckley? Was it the responses you get from the people who watch your videos? They find the worst one and take a screenshot of it. This will appear at some point in the video. If you insist. What did I tell you, eh? <laughs> Drink it in, folks. I promise I didn't edit the HTML. This is the original. You may check it if you like. I don't care. It's what brats say when they're wrong or they failed or they're not getting what they want. 
People who genuinely don't care will not bring themselves to articulate the sentence, I don't care. They will simply go away and do something else with their lives because they genuinely don't care. Believe it or not, there are indeed millions of people who don't give the tiniest fuck about what goes on on social media. You know how they deal with it? They don't use social media. <laughs> no, straight up, they just don't use it. I'm not talking about they don't upload scripted, researched videos for the benefit of thousands of people. I mean, they don't even get an account. They don't even post comments. They don't even lurk. They just get on with their lives and their jobs and their families. That still exists. <laughs> it's what not caring actually looks like from the perspective of social media. In short, I don't care is a lie. Every time it is used, it is a self-evident lie. And the truth, which this lie is badly concealing, is I am shit and have no self-awareness. Which, funnily enough, is exactly the same truth concealed by the word, word literally. But I digress. <laughs> it's what I do. I like it when people don't know who I'm talking about. And they desperately want an answer that isn't there. That's how magic tricks work. You can't figure out the who. Chances are it's not a who, it's a what. And it's in me, and it's in you. Who did you think I was talking about? Did you think of anyone but yourself? Then you failed the woke hipster shit test. Wise people question themselves. Hipsters question everyone else. Should we get on with the video? Should we do some comedy? And maybe later in the month I'll do some music. With my guitar. That's what I'm on YouTube to do. To make use of my skills to create comedy and music. I've got another account on some other social media site where I do nothing but create drama. It's called My Shit Together. The writing phase is skipped, as there is no script. This idea will go straight to filming. The YouTuber finds a spot in their home with the worst lighting. <laughs> so you did watch Just A Cause video. <laughs> yes, he can talk for an hour at speed and in depth without a script and without a single cut. He doesn't need professional lighting or editing. He has a special sawn off pump action device known as knowing what the fuck he's talking about. And sets up their camera to record. And this is where we came in. Is this the first time you've used your camera, <laughs> Buckley, in your long ass YouTube career? Are you now realizing that using a camera requires more effort than not using a camera? What is your point, please? Let me guess, you don't care what your point is. Oftentimes, this part will be left in the video. This YouTuber wears a wig and sunglasses. And this little YouTuber had none. <laughs> and this little YouTuber couldn't find the market and got lost in a field and eaten by cows, which served it right for eating roast beef. And this little YouTuber went, wee, 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 wee. <gasps> What do I mean? Hey, what do I mean? Ah! And starts each video by taking a drink from a bottle of alcohol to impress his audience of teenagers with how edgy he is. When we are responding to and attempting to reason with gormless attention-seeking brats who think they're too cool to be in whatever school they're in and spend all their free time shitting on everything while simultaneously claiming to not give a shit, drinking becomes advisable at first and eventually necessary. And I mean actual drinking of actual alcohol to numb the actual pain, not just drinking water from a vodka bottle to theatrically try and satirize 0.1% of the population as though they represent all YouTubers. You wouldn't understand the reason people drink, Buckley. You are the reason people drink. He turns the camera off. This may or may not also make the final product. Although only six minutes were coherent, this video will be 52 minutes long. 
To paraphrase Goodfella, it takes about three seconds for a hose to spray shit all over the room. But it takes all day to clean up that shit. Instead of complaining about how long it takes to shampoo the carpet, how about don't shit on the floor? Then it's on to editing. The YouTuber will make numerous cuts, removing slurred or incorrectly spoken words. However, because the camera is stationary, the edits will be extremely obvious. Well shit, it's a good thing you never do that with your voice recordings. Playing stock music in the background so we can't hear you cutting out all the slurs and the fluff and the fuck-ups. Thank fuck you just press record and bash out in one unbroken take every time. Like some of the people you're complaining about. Though this could be corrected by rehearsing, only making edits at the end of sentences, and moving the camera around after the end of sentences to give the illusion of a multi-camera setup, this would require effort. And time. I realize you have a lot of time and you don't give a shit, but there are some people who don't have a lot of time but do give a shit. Just let them have it, man. This 52 minute video will only take just over an hour to fully create. Again, I'm not just left guessing who it is you're satirizing. I can't even tell what it is you're satirizing. Is it efficiency? <laughs> Do you have a bug up your ass about the ergonomic application of time and motion? Another YouTuber films himself playing video games. These are called Let's Plays. Using a webcam and special screen capture software, the YouTuber creates a video where you can watch them watching a screen making an interactive medium such as video games completely non-interactive. There were people like you in ancient Greek times, Buckley. In this so-called theater, the so-called comedian dons a mask and stands to talk before a screen, turning an interactive medium like conversation into a completely non-interactive medium. Oh, get me my smelling salts. No, we haven't invented those yet. Get me my rape goat! It's like a scapegoat, except it can't escape. When adding a title, they choose something that is intentionally inflammatory in an attempt to get the most clicks, even from people who will disagree. On YouTube, it's not important that the video is actually engaging or enjoyable, only that it is clicked. videos are these? <laughs> count the celebrities, count the top whatever lists of whatever, count the clickbaity titles and the clickbaity thumbnails. Is this a comedian or is this fucking Buzzfeed? I mean, I get inspiration from, as you say, the people in my audience. Where do you get your inspiration? <laughs> From magazines you found in a waiting room? I hope for your sake that the point of this April Fool's video was purely, and I mean purely, self-deprecation. Because otherwise, Buckley, what you've done here is take everything bad about yourself and project it onto everyone who is not yourself. Unironically. It's like that feeling when all the people who've been coming after Brianna Wu for two years are now coming after you. For the final, most important step, monetization is turned on, ensuring the YouTuber gets paid I know that was a joke, but as you can see, it outdated very quickly. My videos are now available on Minds and Vidme. Because I am a YouTuber. I'm just not just a YouTuber. By showing ads that are more well produced than the video itself. Thanks very much to Newsish for the pledge. I hereby share your channel. I'm afraid I'm not a million dollar advertising company, so I'm unable to replicate the same kind of production quality as Pepsi, but what I can offer you is a, a, an appreciably broader reach.
than you previously had. Might that be the point of ads? Ah, oh, who knows? Whether you have very little talent or no talent, you too could become famous for two to six months on the internet. All right, I'm going in. Lol. Or you could just do yet another video about the top 10 things nobody likes and then act like you're an intellectual for not liking them either. But hey, at least it's better than vapid clickbait bullshit that anyone can do, eh? Don't kid yourself! You're nothing special! You're just a pseudo-intellectual whiny arsehole that, that, that things just because you can say fuck feminism and all the 14-year-old boys on the internet agree with you! Should I perhaps switch to fuck men's rights? How about fuck Piers Morgan? Oh, I know. Fuck Trump. <laughs> now I'm really punching with the edge lords. No one's ever thought of this before. For the record, I am a moron and I know it. Now you have to explain how a complete moron managed to wreck the living shit out of Buckley and make him look like the embarrassing punk he is. What does that make him? Hey, Buckley, did you script that video? Did you look at your finished product and go, yes, that's the one. This will really take the internet by storm. I make YouTube videos properly, me. That was the most cringeworthy comment I've read in a while. Please go be edgy and insecure somewhere else. The only person you may look like an embarrassing punk is yourself. Oh shit, not the no you defense. Gah, my only weakness, you monster. Well, I'm sure I've been told off. You guys should try making a YouTube video. I'm sure Buckley would be impressed by the sheer depth of your arguments and your attention to detail. My sides, my precious sides. Uh, this is a YouTube comment section. Do you expect people to write out a long detailed rebuttal to your whiny rant? Oh, I see. So what I should expect is whiny rants in response to my detailed rebuttal. <laughs> All right, give me another one. What detailed rebuttal? Your first comment was, you make top 10 video and top 10 video dumb. And your second comment was just you whining and declaring that you had wrecked him. And your third comment was just a pathetic attempt at a comeback. <laughs> Click on my avatar there, go to my channel and discover the video titled The Society Monster from Forever Ago. There's 50 minutes of detailed rebuttal to Buckley there. It's probably one of the things that made him so salty. If you want to be as smart as Buckley... Watch a couple of minutes of it and then rage quit and make a butt hurt video. But if you want to be the kind of retarded lungfish who makes Buckley look like a genius, then say something like, d d why should I listen to 50 minutes of whining? I already know everything. I'm going to skulk off and wank into a sandwich now. Wah. Oh, that's why you're going on a whiny rant. The guy he was making fun of was you. It all makes sense now. Also, I'm not going to watch your video despite... You're impressive. If you don't watch my video, you're just arrogant and retarded argument. Because I'm, I'm not a three-year-old. There's faults for the, I bet you're not smart enough to do this trick. Now go make a reply where you wank yourself off to how you shrecked me. Or how I was too stupid to waste an hour of my life watching some guy rant about a YouTube comedian they don't like. You just watched a video of a guy complaining about every YouTube comedian who is not him. I'd ask how the hell your brain managed that 180 hairpin just now, but if you like Buckley, I'm hardly surprised. Best of luck, salty child. You will need it in life. Yes, watching a three-minute comedy video making fun of people who, who, who put in basically no effort and rant into a camera for an hour is totally the same as spending an hour watching a poorly edited video of someone ranting into a camera. That's not false equivalence at all, and you totally aren't just projecting your salt on, onto me. No, no, that would be silly. I can't help but feel sorry for Buckley. He probably spent all week meticulously trying to make this video and all he produced was a three minute piece of shit, bitching about no one in particular. I took 50 minutes out of my life and I comprehensively ruined Buckley without even making an effort. Effort is something that unfunny tryhard losers have to struggle with. Funny is something comedians do without trying. Are you reading this, Buckley? How's the live comedy going? I really hope you're not bombing hard and humiliating yourself. Yep, more self-wanking. Not shocked at all. Self-wanking? As opposed to what other kind of wanking? 
<laughs> Holy shit. You can only muster eight words and you still manage to fuck it up. No effort and no wit. I could tell you've learned the fine art of articulation from champions like Buckley. Oh, well, you see, people can't actually wank off other people's penises. You would know if another human being had ever touched yours in your entire life. And yes, it was only eight words. We can't all be experts in dragging stuff out way longer than it needs to be like you. My penis is touching the furthest depths of your eye socket right now, friend. And that is not referred to as you wanking off my penis with your eye socket. It is referred to as me skull-fucking you. But hey, we can't all be experts on knowing what the hell sex is. You'll get there. That's a very odd fetish that I did not need to know you have. Also, uh, do you think jerking someone else off is called hand-fucking? Or palm sex? Or finger intercourse? Please give me the proper term so I never make this mistake again. I'll explain this like you're as old as you sound. When someone puts a penis in their mouth, it's called a blowjob. And when someone puts a penis in their hand, it's called a hand job. I mean, I can't believe I had to explain that last one. Blowjob is one you would have to explain to someone who's never heard it, because no blowing is actually involved. But how the fuck have you got this far in life without ever figuring out what hand job means? Have you ever left your fucking home? Are we about to have an epic session of semiotic disorienteering over the word wank? Is that seriously the corner into which you've decided to paint yourself? Okay, this is definitely becoming a puppet video. You are brilliant. Say more things. Hey, did you delete that comment asking you what the term for sucking your own penis would be called? Because I don't see it anymore. Also, would it be oral masturbation or a blowjob? I need your expertise. Bitch, you just asked me what the term is for fucking someone's dick with your hand. Don't start acting like you're not a fucking retard. Most people learn that term from their friends when they're in preschool. Level with me. Did you genuinely not know? Or did you just deliberately forget it in the heat of the moment because that's your idea of being clever? Are you a straight-up ignorant moron or are you a dishonest and grossly incompetent piece of shit? Those are your only two options at this point. Hey, Buckley. If you do read this, just know you won't sweep this under the rug by deleting this thread or blocking me. I am capping every exchange. I am going to turn this into a video. It's going to be by far the funniest video in which you've ever been so much peripherally involved and the people are going to pay me a thousand dollars for it. It would mean a lot to everyone if you could show up in this thread and speak for yourself. I'll even let you choose your favourite puppet. Do you like turtles? This just gets better and better. I know, right? And yet I'm getting happier and happier. In the meantime, Buckley is producing, and I quote, angry humour from an angry man. You're all very sad, very angry cunts, making the world a sadder, angrier place. Despite this, I'm going to extract uproarious laughter from you and produce a net gain in overall mirth. How does that make you feel? Uh, I, I guess deleting comments does the same. Holy fuck, you were serious. I wondered why you suddenly developed the power of advanced sarcasm. Turns out you didn't. You genuinely are a desperate, paranoid, delusional nutcase. I didn't delete any comments, you mongoloid. Why would I? This is gold. You, on the other hand, have already started editing your comments into marginally less retarded comments as though that's going to cover your ass. For the record, everyone, this was Amicus's first answer. Yep, more self-wanking. Not shocked at all. Which, after correction, was then edited to... Yep, more autofellatio. Formerly self-wank was here, but more professional sources have informed me that it is not correct, so it has been changed to autofellatio. Not shocked at all. And you really are the lol cow that keeps on giving. Fellatio means oral sex, not manual sex. Please, for the love of God, for once in your life, try and communicate someone without fucking everything up hilariously. Third time's the charm. Go for it. Like I said, I'm capping the originals. It doesn't matter what you edit them to. The puppet will be reciting your first answers in all their glorious retardation. I would, however, like it if Sid V 
could kindly remind us of his comment. Since he deleted it, I only have access to the first half as outlined in my YouTube notifications. Don't kid yourself! You're nothing special! You're just a pseudo-intellectual whiny arsehole that, that, that things just because you can say fuck feminism and all the 14-year-old boys on the internet agree with you? Why did you delete it, Sid? What's up? I think Armagus has something harsh to say to people who delete their comments. Let him have it, little buddy. What are you waiting for? Incidentally, you can check your notifications too, if you like, Armagus. Your notifications will reveal what all these comments said before they were deleted or altered. So you can go ahead and dig out that deleted comment of mine and tell everyone what it was. Go on. Sorry, what? There is no deleted comment. You're talking shit and trying to lie your way out of this. Jesus. Wet. Blood. Into my ass. I've never known anyone to dig themselves into a hole as embarrassing as this as quickly as this. How the hell are you going to get through the day? You must feel sick as a dog right now. You guys need to make more effort. You know what I mean? What? Yeah, my comments totally just disappeared. You didn't have anything to do with that. You certainly didn't delete anything. Nope. No comments got deleted by you. I, I, I guess they just deleted themselves. Are you retarded and blind? If I deleted your comments, prove it. I just told you how to prove it. Oh, wait, you can't. You're a shameless, compulsive liar and you can't stop. And according to Wikipedia, sucking your own dick is autofellatio. I, I, I don't know why it is, but if Wikipedia is wrong about this, you should update it. To the correct term. <laughs> Wikipedia. You had to go to Wikipedia to look up fellatio. Did you look up wanking while you're at it? You know, when people say I had a wank, they don't mean I sucked a dick, right? Are you even physically capable of saying anything correct? Are you 12? You seriously have to tell me if you're a kid, dude. Then you'd at least have an excuse for this train wreck and I'd feel some remorse for you. But if you're a grown-ass adult, I'm sorry, but you don't belong outside the walls of an institution for the severely brain-damaged and genetically subnormal. You are a disgrace to your family and friends. I now know enough about you to be reasonably confident of that. Now go make a video of yourself playing with your toys so you can pretend you won this epic YouTube comment war about masturbation terms. This was not about masturbation terms, you babbling freak show. It was about what a dickhead Buckley is. But you couldn't do shit to defend his indefensible dickheadedness, so this was the hill you chose to wander up and die on. The wank hill. I'm done. You clearly know far less about the correct terms of masturbation than you claimed. <laughs> oh, God. I can't fucking breathe. <laughs> Three times now, you've tried to mention masturbation in your flailing attempt to be funny and edgy. Three times in a row you've got it wrong. If you can muster a fourth, I might actually have an aneurysm. And frankly, someone who pretends to be an expert on masturbation terms when they really aren't isn't someone I want to discuss the topic with. <laughs> uh, agreed. Especially someone who pretends to be an expert on something having only just looked it up on Wikipedia just now and still got it wrong. How the fuck are you going to look your loved ones in the face ever again? I hope for your sake that this exchange and the resulting video will be the most mortifying experience of your life because I have no idea where you would go from here. Downhill is not actually possible from where you are right now. You have fucked yourself down to the gravitational centre of the universe. I, I cannot possibly thank you enough. F thank you for being this retarded in public. It's going to make a lot of people very happy. I'll be back for you, Buckley. After I'm done showing the world what a woeful bunch of cretins can be found in a random selection of your subscribers. You've truly made the world an ever so slightly funnier place with your infectious cancerous incompetence. And you are about as funny as one of my pubic hairs. Most spectacular fail ever in the history of the multiverse. I am in awe. For real, real. No response as of yet from Armagus. So that's a good place to leave it. Not least because after that it all got a little bit cluttered. So I'm afraid, no, you don't get to be a puppet. Jackie. So I think I've talked long enough. Notice I talked for a ruddy long time. 
Not all of it was funny, but the point is none of it was for the sake of drama. It would be if Buckley was someone I do or ever did care about. But here's the thing. I do care what some people think some of the time. I'm not going to pretend I care what everyone thinks all the time, because that would be virtue signalling. And I'm not going to pretend I don't care what anyone thinks ever, because that would be woke hipstering. I'm not going to pretend I'm an empath, and I'm not going to pretend I'm a sociopath either, because I'm not trying to hide something. Or if I am, I'm <laughs> being a lot less blatant about it than I could be. You care. You clearly care, or you wouldn't be here. On the internet. Statistically endangering your family just by being here. And knowing all about those risks. So either fuck off and don't care somewhere else. Or admit that you do care. And take some fucking responsibility for that conscience that for some reason you wish you didn't have. Who am I talking to, eh? The people who won't listen. That's right. Such is the nature of a cautionary tale. Goodbye. And for your own good. Fuck right.